What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am here today to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we attacked and destroyed the Genoan, not the Genoan, <laughs> the Georgian Republic and we destroyed their faction completely, cutting off the threat from the north. Um, that has left us open somewhat to potentially attack some Russian territories or to at least go on the offensive somewhat against the Russians in a territory territories which aren't super valuable to us but they will expand our economy and our tax base and let's go to Dagestan they are hostile to us and if we declare on them we could be declaring on a whole bunch of people namely Mysore which isn't a problem Bavaria which isn't a problem Morocco which could be a problem based on how aggressive they've been because they do have their an army on, on in a fleet somewhere around here I mean there's their fleet so unless they dropped it off somewhere already and so maybe attacking Dagestan itself isn't a good idea in which case then I think this army may end up getting repurposed to go the Yerevan army here may be repurposed to go west because I want to recapture our territories that were lost in the Balkans. Well, I have considered going east against the Indians, um, but I think I'm fighting a lot in this region currently as the um, as Denmark. And also, this is going to be a proper world domination, so I am going to be attacking east at some point. Um, but I mainly want to drive against the Austrians because they're causing us some problems. Potentially, this army actually may go to go to the northern shores of Turkey and then sail up and take back Crimea maybe but I would like to have made some advances in the continent first so it might be best if they get shipped west you also have this force which has pummeled the British and is going to tear them down so next turn we're going to get spinning wheel spinning jennies researched all I do need to do actually is to go because I have noticed this before Yep, we have an agent here who will go to Kasseri. And we also have one in Azerbaijan um, who will go to Konya to balance out the research. And we're slowly converting them. Industrialization is going to start making people unhappy. But religious unrest is still, still exists because we're only going down by 0.02%. Um, but we are earning a reasonable amount of cash per turn and I do need to start building a navy of some description to help protect my ports and a, and a proper navy not a uh, set of Jebex and weaker ships to hold my ports but anyway let's hit end turn because we've not got a lot we can do and there go the British sailing back to pick up another army no doubt Hmm. They're going to try to run around me, but I'm going to chase them down and destroy them. But overall, now we've made peace with Persia. Um, presumably a temporary peace. And we've killed our enemies to the north. We still have enemies um, in the form of Russia. Oh, the Saxons just pushed off. Well, the Saxony just pushed back the Prussians. Fortify the border with Russia over time I don't think I need to I don't think I need to, to dedicate significant forces I still primarily want to grow my economy such that I can reliably build fortifications in my border towns once per turn so I need about 12 grand right now we're verging on nine which isn't bad um, but once I can get 12 I can start building forts in all my key territories I also need to rethink my artillery plans so my usual strategy is to build well, I think I, I think Dagestan may declare on me at some point because they spawned a whole stack there seemingly um, so spinning jay has been researched so my recent my my normal plan with artillery as I use foot artillery in the line and engage the enemy with um, with the Ottoman Empire 
that may not be as possible. I may end up actually needing to spend more time. God, that's a bunch of line entry. I need to actually spend maybe more time or spend more money on howitzers to fire over my line. If I want to go through the principle of having some regular infantry hold the centre and melee infantry come around the flanks and then effectively my centre line will also have to push up that ends up being much more mobile than conventional foot artillery. So I may want to have some, like two units um, to be put in advantageous positions. I'm sorry, sorry guys, I've got to clear my throat one second. And I'm back. Um, so I might want to bring two units of artillery just to take advantage of, you know, sometimes the terrain is perfect. But in other occasions I may want to uh, hold off on spending all that cash because I need to actually not spend all in the cash. No, I need to hold off buying too much in case my strategy prevents me from using foot artillery in the best possible way. So these horsemen are doing good. Garrison forces repression one. I need to do some actual research into what's the best unit for oppression for the Ottomans. Aha. So do we go for Pasha's Palace or do we go for Ornament Tulip Gardens? Or do I go for some ships to help get these Austrians to push off? I think the tulip gardens might be handy to get that wealth, but the government building just gets me more income, just flat income. Um, I might go for tulip gardens to get that town wealth. I can still upgrade buildings. I may as well just keep spending whatever cash I've got to make sure things are still being upgraded. Don't really need the coffee house here, but I want to. I don't know, it's quite convenient having them be so happy. Okay, I need to spend all the cash I've got. Let's upgrade the... Uh, oh, I can't. I th oh, it's the naval. It's the Grand Admiralty I can build in Istanbul. thought it might be the artillery building. Just want to make sure I'm spending all of my cash. Let's build some roads in Istanbul to help gain that money. So now Konya... You shift on to... Ooh, that's a big old chunk of research. But it gets me that cool infantry. And does there is there a limit? Yeah, fighting in formal order is... With tight control and discipline fire is a new idea for Turkish forces. I mean... Well, first, actually... Oh, to be honest, I might want to do them both at the same time. God, this is a plethora of good stuff. In the time I can get European Doctrine, I can also get Socket, Bayonet, and Fire by Rank. Fire by Rank at least helps the units I have now perform better. Okay, cool. Let's make sure I can't do anything more diplomatically useful. I mean, I could try and make peace and trade with Russia, because I don't really need to declare on them at the moment. They're not happy about it. Poland. Fair enough. Let's try Britain. Because we haven't actually done anything offensive against each other yet. But let's hit end turn. Let's keep an eye out for that next British stack sailing my way. But yeah, I think the overall plan... I need to keep one army in the east just to keep the Russians slash Persians in check. I need to have one ready to respond to British landings in... Oh, Austrians taking Prague. I need to have some ready to respond to British landings in the Med. So I think a new army may end up growing in Istanbul to try and drive westward. Barbary State's getting smoked. Don't worry, Barbary States. Your time will come. 
my plan is once I've got lots, of, once I've got plenty of cash and lots of, uh, lots of um, research to just start piling it onto the Barry States. Although to be honest, they're all they've lost tunis, so they've got they've lost a lot of their strength. But then again, they're the AI, so losing the capital isn't a big deal because they always get they always get a pretty dependable amount of income as it is anyway. But yes, the focus is on the Balkans. To help, well, to recapture our territories and to push against the Austrians and the Poles. And to be honest, we've got a whole lot of enemies in that part of the world. Maybe pushing against Russia is a good idea. Then again, it's fairly economically unprofitable. So you've got a yeah, steam pumped iron mine in Anatolia, so you're earning a good amount of cash and you're growing pretty well. It's got some risks of souls in Egypt. Okay, so. You guys are actually going to get into get aboard the ship, embark. Drop them off of the off of the coast of Istanbul, and you shall sail back to Alexandria. You get into the garrison at Cairo and be ready to move. So you get into Istanbul. Let's get building. So you want a drill school, and we'll want. Well, we did, can't build a great arsenal yet. Can't build a Sultan's Academy either, but we don't really have the research to do it. The next level, a great arsenal would be handy to get rid, to get access to twenty-four pounders. But I want metal roads, so that's there's going to be a bit of a delay on that. Okay, cool. So we've got some more melee infantry. Some actual grenadiers, but they still don't they still don't shoot as well as Okay, there is no limit to the amount of janissaries I can have. Or the or these janissaries I can have. The actually 30 is still a bit still not great. But they're okay. So let's get four janissary musketmen. We've already got some riskers of souls. Two units of okay, let's get four units of elite muskets, two units of grenadiers. They're gonna get shipped over to the Istanbul force. One more turn till fire by rank. I should I okay, next turn I'm definitely gonna start trickling in some fifth rates to make a some sort of fleet to challenge to challenge the Austrians that are currently blockading one of my ports because that would certainly um, pay dividends in the long term unless they nicely choose to leave now no sadly not <laughs> the AI gods do not listen to me okie dokie I don't mind still being at war with Poland. That makes that, that just makes oh Poland's been rebuffed against Prussia. <clears throat> I wonder if that'd actually have killed out have killed Prussia completely? No. Still got Konigsberg, I think. Yeah. Persians are still cleaning out the Barbary States. The Moroccans are raiding in Spain. Is that where their army went? Well I suppose it must have been. Hmm. If they did take Madrid, that would be... I think that would be quite funny. Because you never normally see Morocco do much. Oh, the Westphalians have been slaughtered by the United Provinces. Oh, yeah, the Poles are raiding, but that's okay. Moldavia does not supply very much wealth to our empire for now. Let's raise a general. Hoshkadern Melvana. Oh, damn, I don't need all those guns. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. Well, I don't need all those guns, but in lieu of having howitzers, they'll do. So I'll keep the horsemen there to provide some level of garrison. Okay, so shipyard. It's gonna take me a while to build up forces because I can't really build. Oh no, I can actually build. Fifth rates in lots of ports. So let's go around and dot a fifth rate in most of my Aegean ports. Combine them together, then we'll go and take out these chaps. Portugal's been destroyed. Is that by Spain? It is by Spain. Poor souls. Is Morocco actually at war with Spain? Yep, just Spain and the pirates. Got fur trader, got a cannon foundry in Athens, and got a pleasure garden, pleasure garden in Anatolia to help to really try help to offset this clamour for reform because that's really not. Yeah, we don't get any bo boost from government type because we are an absolute monarchy. So let's check out our ministers. Really looking for a navy guy. This guy might be useful to have in, just even though he's pretty, he's not great. So he's plus one treasury, minus one management, plus one management. So he's flat on management, he's a three. He's four for treasury, but my treasury guy's great. But he gives me plus one happiness, lower classes there. And also in the lower classes here. I do lose um, one for the upper classes, but... They're really happy with me the minute, at the minute of that. So he's a good, good candidate. Plus one happiness for middle. So this guy would probably be a more effective for the navy administration. But to be honest, my navy is actually so poor. I don't really. It's those happiness benefits that count for more at the minute. So he's still zero. But I don't know if it count comes in this turn. But it should. I, can't, I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure where it comes. It should, I should get people in government bonus for the lower classes, but I presume that comes in next turn. Yep, so that's all those musketeers moving over. We're going to go take back Sophia. In itself, not worth much, but it's more symbolic. Because there are some irregular Austrian troops. Workers on strike in Georgia. Not anymore, they're not. So much so I can actually tax them. You guys should be able to leave. Good. Take up position in Tbilisi. You guys get evicted. Actually, well, to be honest, that's a, such a swarm of infantry. I would definitely like to rebalance that somewhat. Let's get these guys down to Baghdad to act as my main garrison. Azerbaijan would be nice to garrison more effectively, but if they come up there in strength... I cannot really stop them. They are building their strength again. But so are we, you would hope. It doesn't help that lots of our areas of trade are being blockaded. Probably being raided probably by our own ships. Or, you know, Barbary State's ships. Okie dokie. Let's hit enter. Spies are on the move. First academics got into. Oh no! Our uh, second academics got into Konya. The first one went into the other area before. Come on, France. Keep control of your seas. We want your goods. And you want our natural resources. Well, they actually don't produce much in the way of natural resources. It's a, handful, it's a bit of col cotton in Syria, but. Oh, and some cotton in Egypt. Ah, oh, Spain's knocked out Morocco. I mean, absolutely, yes. They're offering trade and they're offering to pay me for it. Yes, yes, yes. We are both great powers, you and I. This will be very beneficial for everyone. Ah, the Polish are actually going to come in and raid. Um, uh, the raid, 
Raids Sophia from the Austrians. How quaint. That. There you go. So Aust Russian troops are moving to the south. The Marathas have moved on Mysore, but they got defeated. Don't worry, Knights of St. John. I've not forgotten about you. No way. The Siege of Malta is definitely going to happen. Storming the walls of Janissaries and whatnot. It's all going to be good fun. But we're not going to be uh, nailing people to boards and floating them across the river. Not the river. The channel, basin, port, inlet, however you would want to describe. That is Grand Harbour. Well, I suppose you would describe it as a harbour. So I don't want him to infiltrate Moscow. I just want him to get nearby just to watch what's going on. So what's the quality of the troops actually heading our way? So we've got Cossacks, Regiment of Foot. The question is, what's the best thing to do about it? Do I fortify here, the pass? Do they have access? Military access? No. Well, I, I can't really tell if they have military access for Dag through Dagestan. Okay, let's try. How much does it cost to build a fort? Five grand. Let's build a fort to fortify the western approach, and we're going to want to build an artillery fort, which is going to be problematic. Let's get some troops over there to join them. Oh, we've got great steam pumped iron mine here. We've got all our ships. Oh no! Oh no, good. <laughs> so I thought I'd actually recruited like <laughs> Admiral's flagships everywhere. Nope, oh, it's going to take two turns. Okay, do you guys get into position? Still recruiting your musketeers, so I want to recruit some. Probably some Fellaheen, but I might actually recruit some Janissary melee infantry here. The defence isn't great. But that's what you get with melee infantry. I mean, the melee attack of the Riskers of Souls is brilliant. <laughs> Fertile ground. Oh, this guy. So his, zeal's, his zeal has gone up. So he should actually be, a, should in theory be more effective. Yeah, should be slightly more effective. Let's get rid of that religious unrest as soon as possible. So we're burning through a lot of end turns at the moment. Um, but some administration is inevitable. Especially when you've got as many big cities as the Ottoman Empire does. Now it's not a question of enemies, it's now we've got that breathing space. Where do we spend our efforts? And for now, I think those efforts are... Are they going to take Moldavia? Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's watch one... See one swordsman fight against the world. Oh, holy hell. <laughs> Screw you, Poland. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to... didn't think they were going to win. Two armed populist units. I thought they were done for. But I'll take a win. I'll absolutely take a win. But yeah, right now is the first chance I've actually had to build up my country without having a critical threat on the doorstep to deal with. I mean, I'm still at war with the Austrians, but they don't seem to care. Um, I'm still at war with the Brits, but they're not attacking me yet, and I don't see any of their fleets coming. So I'm not so bothered about that. So yeah, I think all in, this is... I mean, Dagestan's probably going to just go crazy. And maybe go after Azerbaijan? So we've got measuring tools, which is great. Because now well, that means we can get metal roads everywhere, which I really like. More infrastructure, more better. That's my. That's where it comes down to for me. Okay, so don't keep going down this tree. Go instead down... 
do we get we got some farms we do have farms and farms are worth money and it's, it's quite a cheap thing to research just two turns so we can't upgrade the fort here okay so let's combine the ships Get the, the Dow to go back to Izmir. No, I brought both of those ships by accident. Wait a minute. Just keep, just bring everyone into one place if the AI wants to play, silly buggers. Okay, you go to Izmir. You go to Thessaloniki. So one more fifth rate, and then we'll come after them. You'll 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 forgive me if I try and if I somewhat over you know, overpower them, because um, my naval skills leave something to be desired. Do I go for the high ports? I don't think so. I'd probably go for whatever. Yeah, so I keep forgetting that Anchor is not the capital. It is Istanbul. Oh, I have a scholar here as well. Get yourself to Konya, sir. I mean, hmm. Nope, I think it's better served dropping in some roads. I mean, I could get the steam pumped iron mine as well. Pasha's palace might be good to increase the repression. Well, let's go for the roads. Well, is there anything really cheap I can build? Doesn't look like it. These janissaries are in position. Let's get some... Ah, gotta wait another turn before we can get get the next melee troops sorted. How's our income looking next turn? 6,000, so some ports have been freed up. Ooh, you. Plus one management, plus one happiness, plus one to zeal. Oh, so he's good for justice. He's seven for justice, which isn't... we don't need. Let's keep the... Uh, <laughs> Let's keep, let's keep the vizier of the sea in, because he's a bit of a cad, and he appeals to the, the lower classes. Let's check our prestige as well. They don't really do that as often. So our army's pretty good. It's nearly a match for, for Austria. Our enlightenment's pretty good. Not as much as Prussia, but I suppose Prussia, Prussia kind of cheats, because they start with um, plug bayonets, I think. Let's then again. The Ottomans started off with some text too. Hmm. Maybe comes plug bayonets as being better than canister shot. Which so taking the research down a bit, if I read it for an extra few more turns, would I rather have socket bayonets or canister and plug bayonets? And the answer for for me might actually be socket bayonets because canister is devastating. But if you just run up the run up to the guns, you engage them in melee. Oh, Brandenburg's under siege. Um, you can run up to the guns, stop them from firing canister shot, and your troops will have more or more effective melee attack than those with plug bayonets, and your guys can still fire guns. So, arguably, infantry with socket bayonets would be better. Maybe. I mean, you would take a lot of losses, but I think you'd, I think you'd win. I mean, maybe it depends on the quality of infantry you've got. So we've been raided. Okay, so probably want. So you get some Mamelukes and. So who do I want? Sekiban or Semat? Looks like Sekiban. Okay, let's do that. Then that'll be our first army of 
first army of the Ottoman Empire, and then we're probably going to attack this poor little chap here. Kill him, take back Bulgaria. Then take on all comers. Okay, we need to, we need to start dropping in some Pasha's palaces as well. Although, say that and immediately then don't do it. I mean, it's easy to spend money in Jerusalem because I've not spent any money there before. Everything's cheap because I've never spent money there before. I mean, yeah, if, if I can't beat them, this, then I absolutely suck. <laughs> um, but, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks very much, guys. Sorry it's been a bit of a boring one. Um, but, in, but well, let's overpower a small Austri Austrian navy. <laughs> Something that I should be able to manage. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, everyone.